Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I got something different for you guys that I haven't really seen a lot of videos on. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to show you guys. And a lot of you guys are not really going to know what this device is because either A, you haven't heard of it or B, you're an iPhone user, which let me clear this up before we even start this video. I am not an iPhone user, so don't hate on me because I get so much crap from people that have iPhones because the little green bubble comes up and they're like, you guys get over it. Androids are better anyways. <laughs> so yeah, let me show you guys. Um, so this is what I wanted to show you guys. This is the OnePlus 7T Pro McLaren Edition. <laughs> so I've had Samsung phones for years already since like the note 2 like freaking 10 years ago or whatever but recently about two weeks ago i went to t-mobile and i found this guy just right there on the stand right next to the note 10 which i was going to upgrade to and i saw this thing and i freaking kind of fell in love with it i want to show you guys kind of the unboxing even though this is unboxed already i think it's still worth showing you guys because there's a lot of cool stuff in the box and the box itself it's cool i want to talk about some of the basic features and how it's been my experience with this phone which it's not bad. It's been pretty awesome, actually. All right, so I'm gonna improvise here on my desk because I don't have a cool table to do any unboxings on, but, and also, obviously, I already unboxed this thing, so I kind of reboxed everything just for you guys to show you guys the experience. Obviously, you have the McLaren branding right here. It's a big ass box, this thing. I'm telling you, this thing is like, oh, there we go, see? Once you open the box, so you open the box nicely, obviously. And you get this freaking dope ass carbon fiber box another box within the box but you guys look at this thing man like this is legit who does this nobody does this this is something i love too that they have on all their packaging never settle yeah big ass box you guys this thing's huge I'm telling you it's all like carbon fiber-ish so once you pull this thing off it slides out all nice and smooth like that Ooh. more mclaren brandy obviously um because that's what they do and they're obviously big on their marketing and packaging and this is where the phone would be here let me just uh simulate that this is where the phone would come and it would be all packaged covered up right there and under that you get this dope ass charger it's braided oh by the way this is all just paperwork instruction manuals and all that but you guys get the point this is what i want to show you guys the braided cable yeah it's a cable <laughs> <laughs> but a dope ass cable these things last forever and this is the special cable that comes with this phone to charge along with this brick right here the mclaren warp charge 30 watts this thing is insane it charges this phone like halfway like 50 percent in like 15 minutes is insane this alone is like 60 dollars if you were to buy it and you'd think like oh that's it cool that's it right wait there's an arrow right here you open this up and you're like what the hell OnePlus just keeps getting me, man. Great things await below the surface. You get this dope ass case, which I used for a little bit and I haven't been using because I got another case for it now. Because I kind of want to keep this. This is nice. It's like a nice, soft suede texture with carbon fiber. Like, who gives you free cases, you guys? Like, seriously, like, look at this. Usually you buy your phone and then right there and then you have to spend another $50 on something like this because you don't want to drop your phone walking out the store. When I bought this phone at T-Mobile, I opened it, put this case on it and walked out the store with the case knowing I was good to go if I dropped it. So OnePlus, you get a OnePlus for that for sure because nobody else does this stuff, man. It's crazy. Like I'd say that's a pretty fun unboxing experience. All this stuff, nobody does it like this. So yeah. I want to start off with the refresh rate. This phone has a screen with a 90 Hertz refresh rate which makes this phone insanely fast. Well, it makes it look really fast. The phone is fast, but the screen makes it look even faster because of the refresh rate. It's crazy, like you could just, you're just swiping through apps from one page to another and it is just insanely fast and it feels so fluid. Even with the Samsung phones in the past, I've never really had this experience and from the iPhones I've used and like messed with, they're not even like, it's just it's just a whole different world. I'm pretty sure cell phones coming 2020 are gonna hop on this 90 hertz refresh rate 
trend because this thing is freaking crazy being on a 90 hertz screen once you go back to a regular phone screen you're just like what is this crap is it freaking 1997 or something i don't know it's just it makes it feel old it really does the phone itself is 5g enabled i have t-mobile so t-mobile just launched their whole 5g network which people are saying is going to kill us i don't know honestly uh but the 5g actually i've been having a good experience with it surprisingly i get 5g in a lot of places and it works really well it's definitely faster than 4g i'll tell you that right now like youtube and games and stuff they load up pretty quick you don't have to wait as long and this is an early version of 5g that's out right now so it's not the full-blown 5g but as as of right now the 5g has been working pretty freaking awesome i did want to talk about some of the basic features of the phone so like the camera the camera is pretty crazy so this this is this is a pretty cool feature i'm gonna here, let me see if i can focus make let it focus let me do the, the beauty guru stuff so i'm gonna turn on the selfie camera you guys see that that is pretty crazy so that the screen i mean the camera popping out allows it to have the front screen just be completely like all screen there's no notches there's no nothing there like it's just completely a full screen which is pretty freaking awesome it's super immersive like i don't know before in the past i'm like oh notches don't bother me like a notch on the samsung or like the iphone whatever it shouldn't bother anybody but once you go kind of like once you go full screen with this thing and there's no notches you're kind of like yeah I don't want a notch in my phone anymore which is pretty crazy it kind of spoils you because you think like something like a notch that's so like insignificant maybe to some people once you have it you don't want it anymore after you get something with it so like soon like if i were to get another phone tomorrow with a notch on it i'd be kind of like that's kind of whack <laughs> speaking of things that i didn't know i wanted and needed the warp charge this charger is a 30 watt charger let me tell you guys i never knew i needed fast charging in my life and when i say fast charging it's fast charging like not like samsung fast charging or whatever 18 20 watt apple fast charging i'm talking about 30 watts straight into this phone from like zero to 50 percent in like 20 minutes literally like it is crazy how fast this thing charges like i've never had an experience like that of a phone charging that fast it is insane like i plug this thing in i'm like five percent plug it in 15 20 minutes later i can come back and check and it's at almost 50 percent or more i'm like what the hell like again i didn't know i needed this in my life but if i were to go back to another cell phone tomorrow with regular charging i think i'd be pretty disappointed because um already spoiled in the two weeks with the fast charging like that's pretty crazy I, I, it blows my mind and while we're on the topic of batteries and charging battery life battery life is good on it i've seen some reviews and read some, on some forums that the battery life isn't great i haven't had too bad of an experience with it it does go a little quicker when it's on 5g but it's kind of a trade-off i guess when you have a 5g network or something like that but for the most part i haven't had like a bad experience with the with the battery life i think it's just normal like it depends on how much you're using it obviously the battery's gonna drain faster if you're gaming on it if your screen brightness is all the way up like typical you know what i mean like don't expect your battery to last like a full day full black brightness if you're gaming on it all day if you're like on your phone non-stop then your battery's gonna go like regardless it's a battery like for me at least i can get a full day of battery out of it for the most part but then again even if i don't i know that i don't really have to worry about it because i can just connect my phone to the warp charger and be back in the biz within 15 20 minutes and almost be full battery like that's insane so even if the battery goes kind of quick on some days you can charge up right away and you're good to go man like honestly i don't see how people are saying they're getting bad battery life out of it i've been getting a pretty good battery life out of it so this thing is equipped with the snapdragon 855 plus i gotta make sure of that 12 gigabytes of ram and 256 gigabytes internal memory this thing's fast that's all i gotta say like it's definitely faster than some of the samsung phones i've had in the past so i know we talked about the camera a little bit earlier so the rear camera the main camera is 48 megapixels the telephoto lens camera is 8 megapixels and the ultra wide camera is 16 megapixels which is pretty insane 48 megapixels not even my sony 873 that i'm filming on right now has 48 megapixels so the front camera is a so oh this i just look at this sensor a sony imx 471 16 megapixel uh front facing camera so it's a sony sensor that's pretty crazy huh 
did not know that. Interesting. And it's a 16 megapixel camera. I mean, I'm not, I've never been a big fan of cell phone cameras, regardless, iPhone, Samsung, whatever, the whole battle. I think my eye is just too spoiled with uh, mirrorless cameras and using good lenses and all that. To me, a cell phone camera is a cell phone camera. A cell phone picture is a cell phone picture. I can see it and I'm just like, oh, that's a great picture. But it's never been like, oh my gosh, like it's just a cell phone picture to me. So, I mean, I don't have nothing bad to say about it. It's not the greatest camera, but it's not the worst either. It works really good. I've been able to get some cool pictures with it and um, I'm not like disappointed. So either way, like I said, if it's, you know, iPhone 11 right now has the best camera to me, it's just a cell phone camera, especially when you go into portrait modes. I think portrait modes on cell phones are like the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. The bokeh on like portrait modes is are terrible. I don't understand. I mean, it looks cool, I guess, for like a quick picture and you want to get like the br blur background. But like I said, maybe my eye is just spoiled with this crap already. And I'm just like, yeah, it's cool. Like, I'm not a big shooter with my cell phone camera, but hey, if I need it, I need, I got it, I want it, I got it. Ariana Grande says that, I guess. <laughs> so the phone obviously is a collaboration with McLaren and they designed it with the intention of it looking like one of their cars with the papaya orange. I mean, you guys, this is a really cool phone. I think OnePlus is going to be coming up in the future. They're going to be kind of becoming one of the one of the main contenders in the cell phone industry along with Apple and Samsung. A lot of people don't know OnePlus because it is an overseas company that is just coming in and right now it's exclu exclusive to T-Mobile. But I think sooner or later it's going to be it's going to be gonna be up there battling with the big guys because uh the stuff they give you like you guys saw in the freaking unboxing like the case the warp charger the crazy like packaging like who does that apple doesn't even do that and that's another thing price point of this phone it's like 900 bucks compared to the note 10 and the apple uh and the iphone 11 where which are like 1200 dollars you get a lot more in this phone in the phone and in the packaging for 900 bucks opposed to Samsung and I and Apple what they give you like Apple won't even give you a fast charger they give you like a 12 watt charger or something like that and Samsung gives you the basic fast charging but I mean they hook it up they hook it up and the pack the unboxing experience is great like it's it's a cool box so yeah just want to show you guys this phone I thought it was pretty cool um a lot of people kind of trip out on it they're like what is that what company is that are you sure that's a good phone i'm like i'm like yeah you know i saw it kind of fell in love with it been having a good experience with it been cool man a lot of people are tripping on it but not tripping in a bad way but as in like what is that like what kind of phone is that so maybe eventually i'll have the real mclaren if you guys stuck around this long watching this video thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and yeah, check out the OnePlus 7T Pro McLaren Edition 5G if you have T-Mobile. Give it a try. You never know. You might like it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.